Hey everybody, I'm gonna start this video off with a little disclaimer. I am not a licensed heating and air conditioning maintenance person. Um, I have not gone to school for it. I have a basic knowledge of how they work, but do not use this video, if you do watch it, as a uh, educational how to do something. If your heating and air conditioning system is not working, I strongly recommend you call a professional to fix it. Do not just take it upon YouTube, especially my, my YouTube channel, to fix it. But I just documented how I shot it, uh, how I troubleshot it. So I just basically followed the power until it disappeared and it disappeared at the transformer. Um, I do have a basic working knowledge of systems like that so that's how i was able to do it but like i said you can cause major damage or you could actually get really hurt if you do it wrong you are messing with electricity and you're messing with this uh, particular one was propane so strongly recommend don't do it yourself call a professional have them do it thank you for watching i hope you enjoy it hope you enjoy all my videos check out some of the other videos and uh Hopefully I have a bunch more to come. It's still early in the season. Thanks for watching. So in this video, we're gonna re replace the transformer in this Train XV95 heating cooling system. There was a power surge in the uh, house last week and I do believe the transformer shorted out. So we're gonna show you how I troubleshot that. So here in the mechanical room, kind of tight spaces, so I got it on wide angle. The fuse panel is right there, and the air handler is right here. And this is your maintenance switch. It's a 110 maintenance switch. So what I did was I opened up the panel. I'm not gonna do that on camera, but I opened up the panel and I followed this wire here, which is a 110 that comes from the air handler or goes to the air handler. And I made sure I had one, uh, 115 volts. It's not 110, it's 115 volts coming off the panel. The breaker was good. Followed the line over, let me back out. Followed line over, comes down here, comes through here, goes into the maintenance switch at 115, 100, whatever, 150. I had my voltage here. And then I had the voltage coming out of the switch going down into the maintenance panel down there where the circuit board is. So let's go down there and take the panel off and I'll show you down there. So turn these, quarter turn, panel comes off. Here's your wiring diagram on the back of the panel. And here is inside your circuit board. So let me get the light down here better. So once you open up the panel, the first thing you're gonna notice, I got my tester right here. I got no power anywhere, no power. Well, I do have power one place and that's gonna be the safety switch right here on the door. And power is gonna come in this black wire, go through the switch and with the switch open, meaning the panel open, nothing's gonna come out. So it should come out this wire right here, which goes into the board. So if you notice, there's no power here, but if I push the safety switch in, it's hot. Not hot, it's hot. Also, if I hit my maintenance switch in the off position, no matter what I do, it kills the power in this box. So I'm gonna turn the power back on. So I have power. Simulating the door is closed. I have uh, 110, 110, 118 volts coming through here. And then it is going to come out of here. It's going to go into the circuit board. It's going to come out of the circuit board. And it's going to go over to this black wire here, which feeds a, the transformer, which is up in that left-hand corner right there. And if you see, I got power going in. So that's wall power to power the system. Now, this 
goes into the transformer and it should come out this red and blue wire right there as 24 volts and I am not getting anything. I'm not getting anything with the, the light. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut this off so I kill all the power. I'm gonna kill the maintenance switch just to play it safe. So now I got no power coming in here and I'm gonna test the transformer. So the way I'm gonna do that is, I don't have my pliers, but I'm gonna take this lead off here. Red's on top, blue's on bottom. So now I have direct access to those terminals right there on the transformer. Let's make sure these don't touch anything just to play it safe. Take my multimeter and it should be 24 volts. So I'm gonna turn it on 200 volts. Uh, actually, I'm gonna turn it on 200 volts AC, which is right here. And AC is uh, volts with the squiggly line. DC is uh, with the two uh, uh, broken lines up on top. So I'm gonna turn it right there. I'm gonna hit my maintenance switch back on, close my and close my door switch, and I should have 24 volts. Coming out. And I do not. Okay, so I'm holding, I was holding the switch in and I was touching the leads with my multimeter and it's still red zero. So I went and bought a new transformer. So the first thing I'm gonna do is kill the maintenance switch. And I am going to install the new transformer if it's the right one. So it's even, I haven't even unwrapped it yet. And there it is. So there's two screws, top and bottom. I got stubby screwdrivers. I hope that are going to work in there. And I will see if I can get that one off. And I'm going to make sure the maintenance switch is off. Okay, so there are two screws, top and bottom. I'm going to take out the bottom one first. I don't know if you'll be able to see in there. Turn my headlamp on. Little sheet metal screws. Gotta do this without pulling off any other wires in here. That panel's right in my way. My hand is a little bit long. We'll get it. Get them out of the way. Black wires on top. Always pay attention to that. White wires on bottom. So black and red on top. There we go. Take the new one. Compare them. Oh yeah, you can see. It's all burnt in there and you got the green slime coming out so i am going to put this in before i connect the wires okay do the top one first see if i can get it started up there
that one hand started. Let's see if I can get this bottom one hand started now. started I guess my screwdriver is a half inch too long my wrencher get all the way in there that's in that's in all right I have a black and a white it was black on top white on bottom black at top red on bottom and red on top on a 24 volt pin blue on the bottom common and that, as far as I know, is it. So, there it is, right there. It's 115 volt, 24 volt, common, blue common. That's the new one. So what we are going to do is I'm going to hit the maintenance switch, which is on the side of the wall up top here. And I'm going to push the door panel in. And we will see. Maintenance switch is going on. And let's close the door panel. And there we go. So it's going through its setup. And I do believe it is fixed. So I'm gonna let go of this. I'm gonna put the cover back on. And I'm gonna go look at the controls. Cause I do not know what the controls are set at in the, on the thermostat. So for safety, take this. Get that in there, quarter turn. Quarter turn. Let's go look at the controls. So here's the control panel. Right now it's, the mode is off. Let's turn it to cool. Set at 55, fans on auto. Give it a second, see if we hear anything. And it turned on. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Let's go back in the furnace room to make sure. Problem solved. System is up and running. You can close the fuse panel. Safety covers on down there. I can pick up my tools. And this is done. So I am not a trained HVAC technician. I am a homeowner. Do not take my stuff as professional when I'm talking about HVAC. This is my HVAC system and I troubleshot it myself with the help of two HVAC friends that I have that they guided me on it and basically they said follow the power. Power from the panel to the maintenance switch, from the maintenance switch to the transformer and from there I was supposed to have 24 volts and I had nothing. Now I do, but I am not an HVAC technician. 
I am not recommending doing your own service work. If you have any problems, I strongly suggest you call a professional. Thank you for watching.